Hi, this is Tom Sewell. I'm the president of Tulsa Gas Technology, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello, and welcome to Explore Tulsa. This week, we start the show downtown at the new Guthrie Green Park. Then we meet the man who's helping T-Town save thousands at Tulsa Gas Technologies. Followed by the comedy duo behind Roy D. Mercer. Plus, we're betting on the ponies at the Rockin' Z Ranch. Hi, I'm Trish Whitmer. And I'm Stevie Fernandez. It's so great that you joined us for this week's Explore Tulsa. You know, Trish, you should forget all your troubles and forget all your care and go downtown. What? Things will be great when you're downtown. Are you okay? No finer place for sure, downtown. Oh, you mean the new Guthrie Green Park. Downtown. The George Kaiser Family Foundation in 2007 had this space. They bought several plots of land in the Brady Arts District. And how this came about was basically kind of determining what, what we would do with this space. And they said, you know, we need a gathering space. This is a community, this is a neighborhood. And so they decided a green space would be a, a natural fit here. And that evolved. That evolved from a simple park into what you see here, which is well beyond just a park. It's a performance space, um, and it has a whole life of its own, even underground. It truly is a green. Um, underneath us, about 150 feet, are geothermal wells and uh, they're the footprint of the whole park. And what they do is they have water at about 66 degrees. That is then pumped into the Tulsa uh, paper warehouse, which you see behind us, which has several nonprofit uh, arts agencies in it. So that water can be heated or cooled to just you know, five degrees above or below to optimum temperature, and it saves them about 60% in their uh, billing. It also affects the new uh, Visual Arts Center. So that's part of the green aspect. We also have in our pavilion, or what we call the dock, the surface of the roof is all solar panels. And so that provides energy to the overall grid that helps operate all of our LED lights. Um, so it's green all over. We opened on uh, September 7th, it ran the weekend 7th, 8th, and 9th, and it was a full weekend of um, activities from uh, local acts to national acts to regional, a lot of family events, Brave Combo, uh, Sunny Landreth, uh, some local, local favorites like uh, Wink Burcham, uh, Paul Benjamin Band. We had TSO uh, in the park, which was their typical um, symphony in the park, but now they're doing it here. And a lot of family favorites like uh, Fab Lab Tulsa and Tulsa Children's Museum and the Zero Center for Education um, all did family activities and arts installations, and it was a lot of fun. Um, for the rest of this season, and we'll end in November um, with our typical programming, although we'll have some special events, um, we're going to see continuation of our music series, which would be Horton Records, which is local bands. We'll see the Roots series, uh, which brings in more regional and national Roots music. Uh, we'll see a film series on the lawn with Circle Cinema, which is really exciting to all of us. And also something that I'm, I'm, I'm personally really excited about is um, the union with the YMCA, which will bring wellness to the green. So we'll have Zumba and yoga and boot camp all in the park. And that will continue into next season, along with special events and festivals. The park will naturally grow, but the entertainment and the, and the type of, of, of stuff that we present will grow along with the park. We always want to be a reflection of what is happening in our community and what is happening in our neighborhood and, and, and in Tulsa in general.
Gallery Green is an amazing advancement in green technology. I'm looking forward to that outdoor Zumba. To learn more about the park, visit GuthrieGreen.com or just remember, everything's, everything's waiting, waiting for you downtown. downtown. Stick around, there's more green just ahead when we visit Tulsa Gas Technologies next on Explore Tulsa. What is your euphoria? A rejuvenating facial at Euphoria. Nova Lash Extensions at Euphoria. A relaxing massage at Euphoria. Euphoria Spawn Salon has 5,000 square feet to make you look and feel beautiful. Hair, nails, facials, massage, eyelash extensions, beachy spa and more. Experience Euphoria at Euphoria Spawn Salon, 110th and Memorial. I better compare other TV prices on my cell phone. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, I thought I had a text message or something. No worries. At Video Revolution, we encourage our customers to shop around for the best price. We'll even match it. For 28 years, Video Revolution has offered service, features, and prices you won't find in a big box store. You know, you look like Joe Pesci. It's a pleasure having you with us for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, do you know much about natural gas? All I know, it, it wasn't me. No, not that kind of natural gas, Stevie. The kind that will soon be fueling all Tulsa's new trash trucks. Oh, oh, no, I don't know much. But Tom Sewell of Tulsa Gas Technologies knows it all. Well, my name's Tom Sewell, and I'm one of the partners of Tulsa Gas Technologies, who are a family company, me and my brother Charlie Sewell on this company. And we got in this thing 23 years ago. We kind of stumbled in through our electric business. As we built that CNG station in Stroud, Oklahoma, uh, one of the officials there at Phillips 66 asked us to install a CNG station they bought. And we installed it and realized we could make this stuff better. So that started a ball rolling. And then a guy wanted one, then he wanted another one, then he another another. And it took, a, after a year, it overwhelmed our electric company. We were now an equipment company. And then just one little thing led to another, like we made this and we couldn't find a supplier so we had to make this. For now we make everything, so we're a total fully integrated manufacturer of compressed natural gas dispensers and then all the refueling equipment for the complete station. What we got here is this is our dispenser line where we actually do the assembly work on the equipment we manufacture. So what you're seeing, these everything down through here is made in Oklahoma and we try to select a Tulsa vendor. If we've got to have a vendor, we select a Tulsa vendor first and then if we can't find him in Tulsa, we're going to find you in Oklahoma. And usually that's where we have to stop, but then we're going to find you in the United States. So there's very little uh, parts inside of this that are not made right here in Tulsa or made at this facility. All of our electronics are made right here at our facility too. You can get electronics made everywhere. From every corner of the world you can find electronics. We choose to buy here in Tulsa. So we hired an electrical engineer and with all of our scope of work and our training we designed a set of electronics that's mechanic friendly. So we came from the mechanics and we designed electronics where we can work on this equipment anywhere in the world over the phone. We're designing our next in, uh, generation of equipment where it's all internet based. So anywhere in the world if we can get to it with a wireless internet we're going to be able to see your equipment from right here and diagnose it, make all the repairs or tell you how to make the repairs, do the training for you can service your own equipment. We'll be able to handle everything through the internet. Compressed natural gas is actually safer than gasoline. Natural gas will only burn between 5 and 15 percent fuel to air ratio. So if for some reason a tank got penetrated, the natural gas is going to come out of that tank. It's not going to come out like the cartoon explosion. It's just going to come out under high pressure and the natural gas can't physically burn at that point. It's too rich to burn. So it's got to get up in the air because natural gas is lighter than air before that ratio would ever mix. So you don't just see an explosion like everybody thinks when you see a cartoon. Uh, so natural gas has to go through an orifice to burn and that's when we use the orifice in the fuel injectors when we inject it in the cylinders. So it's a very clean burning fuel, it's a very safe fuel. Uh, these cylinders, uh, they're tested in bomb fires, they're tested with dry nitrogen, then put in bomb fires, then exploded with dynamite, and they all pass these tests, so that safety is there. But if you did one of those tests with gasoline or diesel, it's kaboom, it's the cartoon fire that you see. One of the things we offer Oklahomans is 
maybe not my generation, but my grandchildren's generation is going to be free of another country somewhere else in the world controlling our destiny. This natural gas is right under our feet. We can use it. If we control it, and I mean control it, the business you know, climate here in the United States controls this fuel, we can get away from imported oil. The oil's not bad, but we can use our domestic oil first, and they'll just be a supplement. So when I mean domestic, North American oil, because we got the Canadians and we got all this oil in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so between that and the natural gas, we should be able to get rid of our foreign suppliers and make us a superpower on energy again. Now Tom told us that natural gas is about a buck fifty a gallon versus regular gas is three sixty something. That's a no-brainer conversion. Plus all those tax perks, DB, my parents actually have a CNG vehicle. And it's easy to fill up, safe to drive, and the driving experience is the same as any other car. So if you want to learn more about the conversion process, visit Tom at TulsaGasTech.com. Next up, we visit with a couple of knuckleheads that many would say are full of hot air. But they've been making Tulsa laugh every morning for nearly three decades. Phil and Brent, join us just ahead with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, I'm Mike Winkle, Sales Director for Tulsa Truck Works. When you come into Tulsa Truck Works, you'll be instantly thrilled with a complete line of accessories available for your pickup truck. We are Tulsa's best choice for truck accessories, specializing in the brands and professional installation that you can rely upon without fail. Best of all, we install what we sell and can coordinate a complete redo of your truck, van, or SUV. Come see us at 9300 East Broken Air Expressway or call us at 628-6700. It's a delight to have you with us from Warwick Sports Tulsa. Now, Stevie, you used to work in radio, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So have you ever met Phil and Britt? Well, I used to work with them, played golf with them, too. And they're really great guys. Since before you were born, Trish, they've been getting up at 4 a.m. down in gallons of coffee, all just to ensure that we Tulsans wake up with a chuckle or two and classic rock in our hearts. Well, then let's meet the creative genius behind Roy D. Mercer. And the Phil and Bridge Show, and you know, when in doubt about what to talk about, I like to talk about what's going on in the room. Oh, well, that's always, that's always weird. We have cameras pointing at us right now. We've been wired. <laughs> and we have microphones on, too. That's a, that is the truth. <laughs> so, uh, where, where are y'all here from? Part of Explore Tulsa, the TV show. Explore Tulsa is the name of the show. And how'd you find Brent? Well, it was a it was a public bathroom, uh, turnpike. Uh, he tapped twice. I answered. <laughs> uh, that's that's our story. We're going to stick to it. Now we found him in a pharmacy, actually. Yeah. I tapped twice, and <laughs> and he prescribed. Where did uh, Roy D. Mercer come from? Oh, what was it? Uh, just a, a mad camping trip one weekend, and yeah, trying to find something else trip. to do. Just trying to find something silly to do on the radio, and. It finally worked. How did you guys feel? Did you think it would become what it is today? No. No, we were just looking for something to do, you know, something to fill time on the radio. And then something to mess with our friends for a while, so that was kind of fun. And how did that work? When did the record deal come about? It was 96. No? Well, yes. we, we did, the, you know, we did, the, we produced the albums, the first two here ourselves, and sold them through an uh, auto parts store and did real well. And then Somebody, you know, got a bootleg copy over to uh, Scott Hendricks, who was then president of Capital Nashville, and he approached us to, to do a record deal with them, and, and the first two albums that we produced here were the, actually the first two albums that they, they bought in their entirety and, and uh, put on Capital. So, and we're, what, 14 albums, 15 albums? I mean, 17. 17. Well, there's a lot of compilations and stuff with best ofs and greatest hits and stuff like that, but, yeah. Excuse us while we make a paycheck here. Yeah, part of this. <laughs> 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 5. Hello, KMOD. Uh, 725 is the time, and that was Nickelback. It's the Phil and Brent Show, and Mary Morris here with this entertainment update. Well, of course, Charlie Sheen. We have to do the Charlie Sheen update. I love it. I love, um, it doesn't feel, and they've said it, but it doesn't feel like a job. You, I get to come in here and talk and interact and have conversations, and, you know, I'm fully aware that, um, you know, even if I were part of a different radio at any point, it, it will never be this. I will never have this opportunity in this situation again, um, just to work with such talented people. And I think sometimes when you're out there, you uh, you know you hear the things, but you don't realize that a lot of these things are just um, you know off the cuff. And yeah, they've just been super supportive and, and uh, 
I just, I love my job. What is, what is it meant to, I mean, you guys really honestly have, have had such great success here in the Tulsa market and to the point where you've got national recognition, you could have really gone anywhere. Why stay here? We've been asked that before, and uh, we didn't have an answer then either. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love it here. It's just it's, it's the a size of the place. market. It's uh, it's not an L.A. It's not a Dallas with all the traffic. It's uh, well, we do have traffic, but uh, it's just I don't know. Uh, we grew up here, and we just kind of never really wanted to get away. We thought we did for a while. We were younger and stupider, but. Uh, we kind of came finally to our senses and decided that uh, this is really where we want to be anyway. Sure. Now, for a long time, it was just you two, and then you added Brett, and then and then a fourth person. What what made you guys decide to do that? And that we early had nothing to do with that. That's all management. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want anybody. <laughs> nah, I mean, that's that's partially true. Well, we've always had you know somebody over here to do news or entertainment or whatever. Well, I think it really started because I could make Brent laugh, and and uh, I was working in production, just doing commercial production when I first came over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I would, would go out and I'd chat with him. I, I didn't know the guys from Adam when I first, you know, came to town. And, you know, I learned about him as we went. And more things happened. And, uh, you know, I eventually came in here and grabbed a microphone and, uh, you know, started putting my two cents in. And they let me do it. You know, uh, it's uh, tough to try to be funny all the time, but fortunately when you have uh, all the funny people around, you don't have to be funny all the time. You can uh, just wait until the right moment. And, you know, since then, it is kind of, the position has kind of evolved. I almost don't even call it producer anymore. I mean, I help schedule uh, stuff to go around. I make sure the stuff is where it's supposed to be. I, I kind of wrangle the guys. I do the stuff that they don't like to do sometimes, so that's why they keep me around. So what would you say uh, to young broadcasters wanting to get in the business? <laughs> don't! <laughs> <laughs> please! Please uh, don't! Uh, it's, no, it's a lot of fun. It's more fun than television. I'm sorry. More fun than television. It's more fun than, than uh, you know, sitting around trying to write a book or, or, or whatever. It's, it's a great time. We have a great time. We come in here for four hours and this is playtime. This is, you know, the time. Therapy. That, yeah, what do they say when when your when your job is not work, then it, you know you found exactly the right thing to do, and and we've been blessed, uh, you know, for 25 years of being able to do what we want to do, and and do what makes us happy, and it doesn't get any better than that. Awesome. There's your tagline. Out. <laughs> I still set my alarm every morning to those guys. I usually hit the snooze a few times, though. So. What do you like most about Phil and Brent? Well, they make me feel like you're just sitting in the living room with them, you know, and all your best buds, and just cracking each other up. Well, you too can wake up with Phil and Brent weekday mornings on 97.5 KMOD. Just ahead, we dial up for the races. The Rock and Z Ranch is next when we return with more Explore Tulsa. There's more than a new look at Guitar House of Tulsa. The new amp room with Gens Benz, Orange, and Mesa Boogie you won't find anywhere else in Tulsa. Expanded guitar and bass sections with Paul Reed Smith, Spectre, Music Man, Ibanez, Jackson, Taylor, Takamini, Alvarez, plus a nice selection of vintage guitars and Tulsa's exclusive Martin Marquis dealer. Best instructors in green country with never a lesson sign-up fee. Ask about their three-month layaways and financing. Guitar House of Tulsa. They'll keep you strumming along. On Admiral East of Sheridan, online at guitarhouseoftulsa.com. Where were you on the night in question? I was at Video Revolution. They're open till 7, Monday through Friday, 6 on Saturdays, and 5 on Sunday. Heard anyone that can testify to the accuracy of your story? Yeah, yeah. All the salespeople were caring and friendly, and they knew everything about home entertainment, all my home entertainment needs. And from from HD TVs to camcorders and 3D TVs. <laughs> hmm. The evidence all points to Sony choosing Video Revolution for major growth as an Oklahoma independent retailer. Video Revolution even offers a 30-day lowest price money-back guarantee. The facts are evident with features and prices you won't find at a big box store. My investigation is proof positive for the best service before and even after the sale, it would be a crime not to stop by Video Revolution. 
Thanks for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, what are you doing? Think about becoming a jockey for racing horses. Stevie, that is a bicycle helmet and a spatula. Well, you gotta start somewhere, Trish. How about instead we start with Dr. Zellner at the Rock and Z Ranch? Go, go, go! Hey, Explore Tulsa, how you doing? Come on in. I'm Dr. Robert Zellner, owner of Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. I've been in business here in Tulsa for 20 years. I'm an optometrist. I have two office locations. One's at 69th and Memorial and one's at 30th and South Harvard. Well, I am a local guy. I grew up here in Tulsa. I attended Union High School and actually Bixby High School also. I'm one of seven children, six boys and one girl. I had to go to the eye doctor when I was younger, so I was always fascinated with all the equipment and, and the ability to go in, and then all of a sudden I got to see clear when I left, and I always thought that was a neat deal. And it seemed like it was a nice balance between the business side, the selling of glasses and contacts, and the doctoring side and helping people see better, and it seemed to be a perfect fit for me. All my life I was fascinated with horses. I loved them, I loved being around them. I said to myself when I was little, gosh, one of these days if I'm fortunate enough and I have the opportunity, I always dreamed of having a, a horse ranch. About 10 years ago, I started getting thoroughbred racehorses, built up a stable, if you will, and then about five years ago, I found the perfect ranch, a ranch that I'd driven by many times and just had fallen in love with. Um, it actually wasn't for sale, but I called the owner and said, I'd like to buy your ranch. And the gentleman said, it's, it's not for sale. And I said, so? I still want to buy it. And after about six months of negotiations, uh, I bought the ranch and renamed it the Rock and Z Ranch. It's about halfway between Tulsa and Ogmulgee, right on Highway 75. First of all, I had to hire a trainer, and I met a gentleman by the name of Joe Flemings, and we discussed, and, and I hired him to be my trainer, and then I was going to claim a horse, and in a claiming race, all the horses in the race are for sale, and if you do your paperwork and put the money up, then you can actually buy the horse right out of the race. We did our research, and we claimed our first horse, and, and had some fun with her. One of the most exciting moments in horse racing, when I first bought the Rock and Z Ranch, I moved my horses onto the property, and one of the first horses born there, I named Peach Brew. And Peach Brew won last year, actually two years ago. She won my first graded stakes race, which in the thoroughbred business is, is kind of a big deal. There's not many of them, and they are the highest level races. And there's a lot of gentlemen that have been in racing longer than I have that have not yet won a graded stakes race. I love horseback riding. When the horses are actually in training, I don't ride them at that point. But when they're retired and they come back to the ranch, this, the few that we keep for, you know, I try to keep three or four of the geldings that um, have retired from the track. And we take them to the ranch, we turn them in, we try to rehab them into a second career. And then once we rehab them, we try to find them good homes where they can go and be a, a hunter jumper or someone's uh, personal rider around the ranch. And so we do ride those and have fun and kind of retrain them. You know, when you get on them when they first come off the track, they want to go fast and turn left. That's, that's all they know. So we have to kind of retrain them in order to, uh, to not go so fast and they can actually turn right also. Well, the way that the family gets involved is, especially when my, when my boys start to, um, to date young ladies that love horses, and then all of a sudden they have a renewed interest in the ranch and have to, you know, want to go out there quite a bit, it seems like. Uh, my daughter and I actually, when I first got involved in horse racing, um, we, we did horseback riding lessons together. And that was a real bonding moment for my daughter and I. Uh, we would go and take lessons together and ride around uh, and, and do our jumps and, and have some fun with that. And uh, the ranch has been a, a fun place, not only to go to ride horses, but to go ride four-wheelers, to go just hang out, uh, build a bonfire and make s'mores and hang out for the evening. And uh, it's just a special place to be. Tulsa's my home and I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to, uh, Oklahoma's had some recent changes in the horse racing laws and it's been a real pleasure to kind of be a part of that and to help 
to help those changes and to see those changes come through and to see that now horse racing has kind of had a, a rebirth and a, a new life, if you will. Yeah, get out. If you haven't been to the horse races recently, the uh, facilities have been upgraded. They're a great place to take the family. Not only the beauty and pageantry of the horse races, uh, but also you can get great meals there and enjoy an evening out with the family um, and maybe even get lucky and uh, make a few bucks. Hopefully I'll see you there. All right, Explore Tulsa, thanks for coming by now. Get on out of here. The Rock and Z Ranch really does have some beautiful ponies. And to learn more about the ranch, visit rockandzranchok.com. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Klipsch, Mitsubishi, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hi, I'm Jamie Harris with Qantas Creative. Did you know that Qantas Creative provides IT services? That's right. We specialize in the full gamut of IT solutions, including structured cabling for data, voice, and video, as well as full network architecture and setup. Our IT services are unmatched because we're a one-stop shop for IT solutions. Is your business ready to take advantage of new opportunities and emerging technologies? Qantas Creative offers IT solutions tailored to your business to save you time and money. We'll work with business owners of any size business, from new ones still working out of their home to businesses with dozens of locations. With more than two decades of experience in IT services, our technicians can offer you outstanding, cost-effective service for all IT applications. Let the Qantas Creative team help you with your IT needs today. Call us at 918 794-2758 or visit us online at QantasCreative.com. That's QantasCreative.com. Be sure and stop in next week when we meet the ladies behind the Oklahoma Alliance for Animals and learn all about the good they're doing for Tulsa and our four-legged friends. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. But special thanks to Chad Oliverson and all the folks behind the making of the Guthrie Green Park in the historic downtown Brady Arts District. Thanks, too, to Tom Sewell for saving T-Town some big bucks and providing us with CNG alternatives. And to Phil and Brent for waking us up for the last 25 years. Plus, thanks to Dr. Zellner and the ponies at the Rock and Bee Ranch. Remember, if you missed any of the show, you can also catch us online at ExploreTulsaChannel.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is always brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. If you're looking for home audio, home video, HDTVs, or you just want to check out the latest in 3D entertainment, please stop by and say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs and we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.